Justin Rodriguez here with the Saturday Night Varsity 845 Football Wrap and we concluded a great weekend of football at Fowler Field here with the semifinals. Yesterday in the Class C semifinal, O'Neill over previously undefeated Millbrook 22-16 in a revenge game and then obviously it was the NASCAR game, Walk Hill outlasted Roosevelt. Today we start off with another great game, Rondout 34, Highland 30. Rondout led 27-7 uh, with seven minutes and change left in the third quarter. They gave up the lead. Uh, Highland goes up 30-27 with about a minute and 20 left on a touchdown pass from Brandon Mack to Michael Weed, 18 yards up the middle. It looked like a heartbreaker. Highland adds the two-point conversion. Uh, Mack to Travis Marnell, 30-27 it was. But then Rondout Valley puts together a wonderful drive, 10 plays, 65 yards, 56 seconds. Uh, concludes with Keith Malik to Brett Steers up the middle with 22.4 22 seconds left. That makes it final, 34-30, Rondout Valley. It's a historical win uh, for Rondout Valley. At the very least, a big comeback win. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, Keith Malik was, was awesome, 191 yards, three touchdowns. He passed for two touchdowns. Highlands Brandon Mack, he rushed, uh, I'm sorry, passed for 353 yards with two touchdowns. Highland played without A.J. Buchanan, their perhaps best player, stud linebacker, can run the ball. He was out with an injury. Going back to Rondau, year, the year is 2000. They win the Section 9 title, go on to win the Class B state title. They fall on tough times in 2009, don't even field a team. Um, haven't had a winning season until since 2007, the last time they're in the playoffs. Now they're back in the championship game. A wonderful job by Rondell Valley, who, by the way, only won one game last season. They'll play Marlboro for the championship next Saturday at Deet Stadium. It's a rematch of uh, week one. Marlboro won 25-0. We also have Keith Malik, Rondell quarterback, going against his father, Jim, who's an assistant at Marlboro and who, of course, was the head coach when Rondell won uh, the 2000 state championship. What was going through my mind was to never give up, obviously, and uh, we, we didn't do that. My receivers did a good job of catching the ball and getting out of bounds, and uh, all around, everybody on the offensive line did a good job on that last drive. They gave me some time, and I hit the receivers, and they did a good job. It means a lot to bring this program back to where it should be and back to the Section 9 finals, and uh, we did that through, I mean, hard work and stuff. Uh, it just feels really good right now. That's a tough spot to be in. It's frustration. I mean, we got the holes in the first half. We were running good, running good. And then second half, they just figured out what we were doing. They just closed up the holes. But we stuck with it. I mean, it's, it's a good comeback. It's a good comeback. We, we never give up. Uh, all day, every day, Coach says never give up. We don't give up. We have fun and we did it. It was a dream come true. I always dream about this and I'm so happy. I have no words. It feels great. It feels great. I coached with, you know, with Jimmy Malik back in 2000. I think six was the last time we were there against Cornwall when Cornwall was the team to beat, you know. So we had a, we had a good run back then. So we'll see what happens. You know, we're, we're pumped about next week, though. I want to play Marlboro. It's, you know what? Someone needs to play them. You know, they, they, Highland gave him a great game last week. Highland, the number 18's player, football player. what it takes to be a good team. You can't just have one weapon. Uh, we have a great offensive line, great receivers, great running back. So, I mean, once that all comes together, then it just opens up its uh, endless opportunities. Nightcap tonight, our string of really close games ended. Uh, Newburgh, very impressive, 40-14 over Warwick. Uh, Warwick scored the first 14 points of the game. The first touchdown came off of a Newburgh turnover on the opening kickoff. They led that game 34-7 at, uh, at halftime, so it was really more of the same with Newburgh scoring the last 40 points of the game. Just too athletic, uh, too deep and uh, at running back, of course. Donovan Fields, the Don. Three touchdowns to Jalen Williams, uh, three passing touchdowns. Jalen Williams, of course, uh, has made a name for himself in the uh, secondary going to Pitt. They, uh, they connected for three touchdown passes, and Donovan pointed out to me after the game, obviously, hey, he doesn't go to Jalen too much because he has running backs. Enter Aaron Forbes. Just like Anthony DeBose, what I love about these guys when they get going, just the combination of power and speed, it's really 
fun to watch. He had three touchdowns, 176 yards. He looked good. Um, I'm very happy. I'm happy that I helped my team perform and win this game and get to the next level and get to our main goal. And I'm thankful that I have a great block. I mean, you know, we weren't nervous. We've been in tough games before this season, so we just had to pick up our teammates and stuff and not get down on each other and just keep playing the game, playing a complete game. It was really good to know we get another shot at Monroe. That was our biggest goal coming into this game. Um, we came out a little sluggish. And we just had to pick it up as the game, but as the game went on. And uh, um, have a great week of practice. Um, just come out, stay focused, and just execute. So in the other semifinal, up at Dietz tonight, Monroe Woodbury beat Washingtonville 56-17, as many expected. Um, so it's Newburgh Monroe, which we've seen so many times since the mid-90s for the championship. Monroe Woodbury put away Newburgh quite easily, 35-14 in week three. Uh, it was never a game. You have to think this game uh, will be better. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It will be right here at Fowler next Saturday at 7, and I'm thinking it will be a good one. So have a great night. This is Justin Rodriguez signing off for the Varsity 845 Saturday Night Wrap.